Good morning, good morning. Today is rainy and today is Friday. I don't know if it's Friday when you are listening to this finally, but it is for me and I am happy. Today we're going to read The Power of Yeti, written by Rebecca Van Sleck and G. Brian Karras. All right. It says, I have lots of friends. Some are bigger and stronger and faster. All his friends. They make the ball go through the hoop. They score the goals in soccer. They read the biggest books. They can even count backward from 100. 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94. Me, I try to keep up with my friends. And this is what happens. Oof, oh no, my shoelace. Oh, there he goes. I try to remember how to tie it. Make a loop. Make another loop. What comes next? Do you know what comes next? I bet you do. I can't do this, I yell. Suddenly, a very tall, very hairy creature steps out from behind a tree. Oh, my. He holds out his hairy hand for me to shake. Greetings, small-footed human. I am a yeti. A what? I ask. A yeti, he says. Maybe you know some of my relatives. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, the abominable snowman. Wow, I say. Look at them. Look at those feet, those muscles. I wish I was like that. Those feet, goodness. Not to brag, but I am the most powerful. He leans down and whispers, and I can share my power with you too. I call it the power of Yeti. I could be that strong, I ask? How? Just use my name whenever there's something you're having trouble with. Like tying my shoes? Yep, says Yeti. Instead, I can't tie my shoes. Try saying, I can tie my shoes. Yeti, see the difference? I look down at my floppy shoelaces. Not really, I say, but it's true. You're definitely gonna know how to tie your shoelaces someday. So, how about counting backwards from one to a hundred? Ha, that's a thing. Kind of, but I really wanna score a goal. Try saying, I can't make a goal, Yeti. How would that help? I ask. Well, you know, some things take practice, Yeti says. Hey, Bigfoot, pass me the ball. Bigfoot kicks the ball my way, and before you know it, I'm kicking it around with these giants. And guess what? I score a goal. I think I'm starting to see. Scoring a goal is good, I say, but I still can't reach the hoop. Well, you're gonna grow, you know. See, 
my buddy, the abominable snowman, he used to be your size. And look at him now. Wow. So I should say, I can't reach it. Yeti. You got it, said, says Yeti. Whenever you're worried, you can use the power of Yeti. Do you know what they mean? Yeti. I can't do it Yeti. I can't do it yet. But practice. But with time, right? Like I did when I was learning to ride a bike, said Bigfoot. And I did when I was learning ballet, Sasquatch adds. And I did when I was learning to jump rope, the abominable snowman says. <laughs> Look at him. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. Yeti, 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 Yeti. I'm not good at this. Yeti, we all shout. You've got it. Yeti holds up his hand for a high five. I jump for it, but I miss. I'm not tall enough. Yeti. I look down at my shoe. I don't know how. Yeti, I say. Okay, we can work on that with you. And so, small-footed human, even though you might not be as big and hairy as we are, you are a powerful creature. I am because I have the power of Yeti. See, and he's thinking, 99, 98, 97. Um, he doesn't know Yeti, right? But he will someday. Well, I hope you liked our story of the book of Yeti. And remember, when you don't think you can do something, maybe you can't Yeti, but you will soon. You just have to practice, okay? I love you. Mwah!